Hello, my name is Heitor Faria. I like to study backups. I even have a, a book published at Amazon.com about the Bacula community, which is a very popular open source backup source. But today we're going to talk about the commercial, commercial version of Bacula, which is Bacula Enterprise, developed by Bacula Systems. We're going to talk today about VMware vSphere backups because it's very hard to backup the virtual machines using open source solutions. So Bacula Enterprise has a very special plugin which automates the backup of virtual machines. Here in my ESXi node, I have just one virtual machine, okay? And then you can backup it with Bacula. You can even do different block level backups of these virtual machines and you can restore it with the same name or with another name like I did it here before I canceled because this is why it is it's uh, has fewer bytes but you you have this feature it's pretty possible to do that in order to backup the virtual machines uh, Bacula Enterprise doesn't need a client, okay? So, so it's a clientless backup. You don't have to install anything at vCenter or ESXi node, okay? You just install the Bacula Enterprise plugin at the storage gym on Bacula machine. Normally, it's very common to people to use the same directory, the same backup server machine for both, and it connects directly to the EXI or vCenter server, okay? The, uh, the ESXI must have a license. You can't do that if you don't have a license on the, on the VM, VMware size, okay? It must be licensed, but it works very well if you achieve to do it. In order to install, it's very easy. You just access your exclusive backlog system Bacula Enterprise repository when you when you acquire Bacula Enterprise, okay? Just uh, go to the path, to the folder that has your plugin, then you download for your distribution these two RPM packages. I already have installed it here, okay? Just come here. So if you make a RPM listing here you can see that i already installed the both packages okay it basically install the this file here in the bacula plugins directory and you can also uh you know some a little other files here in bacula deploy for example you must uh, in order to work you must just create a text file under the OPT Bacula ETC directory, which is Bacula configuration, okay? This is very simple. And then put the credentials, your vSphere credentials. For example, here I'm using the root vSphere user and password, but you can use another user with strict permissions, okay? You don't necessarily need to use the, root, the vSphere root user. Then you put the vSphere IP address, or it could be also name, uh, a qualified name. And here you put it out. So here, and then the thumbprint, which is a security information that you fetch. This is information from the vSphere, uh, from the vCenter, okay, or, or from the ESXi. It's very easy to obtain from these uh machines okay we just obtain the tomb print okay let me see if i have the comment here i'm not sure if i have it okay i don't have it but i can put in the comments here after that or you just ask me and i'll provide the comments these are at the white paper at our manual we teach you how to fetch the the thumb print once it's configured just restart the Bacula storage daemon to apply the, the plugin so it can load the plugin and then you can proceed with the Bacula configuration. Just by curiosity, I'm recording these backups into FreeNAS. It's a lab laboratory environment. I'm using iSCSI device. Just I just mounted the iSCSI device to my storage daemon machine, which is a very 
uh, fast way. It's more performatic than uh, sharing than file system sharing protocols such as NFS, uh, CIFS, etc. Then I have my uh, this is the web the ex exclusive backlog enterprise interface. Let's take a look at our backlog configuration. Okay, I just put in the file set. I created a file set exclusively for the backup of these virtual machines. Okay, this is very easy to add backlog plugin functions. Okay, there is, this is the the wizards that you just click in the tasks. For example, in the base free case. What virtual machines you want to backup or not, you can put the names of the virtual machines, and if you leave it blank, it will backup all virtual machines. You could also use wildcards if you want to include a pattern or exclude some pattern of naming, of virtual machines naming, and you can also enable or disable force in the CBT. CBT is the mechanism that allow Bacula Enterprise to make differential block level backups or incremental block level backups from the virtual machines and that also allow to file level restore. Bacula Enterprise can uh, restore just a single file from the backup of a virtual machine. But I'm not, I'm not going to talk about this today. I'm going to talk in another video, okay? And then if you want to force kissing host, quiescing host or not, okay, which is making the host aware of Bacula's backup, which makes the backup more reliable. Uh, vSphere, I will just leave it like that, very simple, which will backup every single virtual machine, okay. If I proceed here, I can change compression, Bacula uh, supports uh, software compression here, you can choose the level, okay, or not. Uh, signature, which is the integrity, backup integrity verification, and then just apply if you don't want to change anything. You need the file set, which is what is going to be back, backed up, and you need also the job, which is the action of Bacula, accessing the vCenter and back, backing up the virtual machines. Just choose the file set that you created, okay? You can use a different schedule, you can just another options here and then save. Once you created the file set and the job, you can come here to, to work set in order to commit and apply the configurations change. After that, you can come back to the initial Bacro Enterprise landing page come to jobs, define a jobs, and run a backup, a test backup of these virtual machines, okay? You can change the level, let us put, the, the first backup is always full, let us run this virtual machine backup, okay? It will keep refreshing the screen here. Below here, it tells you the log, it displays the log of the specific backup job, and you can see that he's backing up the first and only virtual machine that basically I have la. Okay, so it it created the snapshot su successfully, and then it is going to export, export this virtual machine direct to Bacula storage daemon, okay? This is the current speed. My environment here is very limited, but you can achieve much larger speeds than this, okay? Here is 13 megabytes per second. Once you have done the backup, you can restore it to our, to our wizard, which is jobs, landing page again, jobs, web, restore. You select the backup client, Let me categorize it. Then you select the restore. I will, I will just choose the last full backup that I made from vSphere file set. Okay, let me select. Then you navigate in your backup. I have two 
virtual machines that my backup, my terminated backup job did backup and then just select the folder of my virtual machine and this file here, it's important also to restore the virtual machine, it's like the settings of my virtual machine. Then you just accept, drag and drop here, I will not restore the virtual machine too, just the first one, then I accept the file selections. Every time you make a backup with a Bacula Enterprise plugin, you have a new tab here where you have the special restore options. This allows you to restore the virtual machine directly to your vCenter, which is great because it reduces the RTO. It is very, you can restore entire virtual machines very quickly, okay? You can restore it for a different data store. You can select if you want to force a specific ESX host to restore. You could also restore this virtual machine to a different name. For example, Ubuntu Restore, okay, or something like that. And you also have another options here. Then you proceed to run Restore, and eventually it will access this uh, the, the ESX and restore the new virtual machine, okay, like I did before to this one. So you see, this is very easy, this is very friendly, anyone can do that, okay. Let me see if it's already restoring, okay, it, it's going nice. Let's see if it will restore under a short time frame. No, it will take a while yet, but don't worry, trust me that it's going to restore nice and easy. Okay, so this is it. Thank you very much for your, for your patience and for your attention. Okay, and looking forward to see you uh, in my other videos. Okay, bye-bye.